guys, welcome to Neek, and something crazy news just dropped. The Snyder Cut is going to be released on HBO Max, something that people always thought kind of happened, but no one really truly believed that would happen, but it is happening. The Snyder Cut will be on HBO Max in 2021, so if you don't know what happened with the Snyder Cut is, so the cut of Justice League, um, so Justice League was released back in 2017, but it had some a lot of behind-the-scenes problems. And originally it was directed by Zack Snyder, but then some stuff happened. They rewrote the film, there were some reshoots and stuff, and because Zack Snyder had some personal stuff, he had to leave. Um, and then Josh Whedon came in and finished the movie. So that's one big problem that lots of people have with Justice League, is that it's a convoluted mess because Zack Snyder and Josh Whedon are very different, and it's very like complex it's like very doesn't mesh well together so then for years there's been a thing called release the snyder cut where people want to see zack snyder's original vision for justice league this thing has been going on for years and no one actually thought it would really happen but then there were always some rumors that oh it exists and stuff or like but does it actually fully exist and they're not going to release it and stuff like it's not going to happen but then out and then today they announced that the Snyder Cut will be on HBO Max, which is Warner Brothers and um, HBO or Warner Media's uh, streaming service that comes out like next week. What Warner Media is like HBO and Warner Brothers like together. So it will be coming on that in 2021. There's no specific release date, but it will either be a, either like a four hour movie or split into like six parts or something. That's what they said. But this is just some crazy news and yeah i'm actually pretty excited to see what this is because it's really interesting with these behind the scenes stories and stuff like to see the other version of the film uh dc actually did this actually pretty recently with the richard donner cut of superman 2 so it was actually kind of similar story with superman 2 so this is actually a kind of crazy story but anyway richard donner didn't finish the film and then they brought in another director to finish it. And then they finally just released his cut of the movie recently, like a couple years ago. Um, so this is kind of like the same thing. So you get to see the original director's vision and how it could be. Um, I think it will be better than the Justice League we got because um, it will be one person's vision. But even then... I don't think it's going to be as amazing as some people think because even though it was Zack Snyder, it's just Zack Snyder, not Josh Whedon, there still is some studio interference that happened before Zack Snyder left. So it's not like they re they redid everything because even before, this will still have some of the rewrites that, the, um, that happened right after Batman v Superman. So I'm th pretty sure we'll still have some of the stuff it won't fully be Zack Snyder's complete vision because of the some of the studio interference and stuff. So, um, I'm trying to not get too overhyped for this, especially because it's not coming for a year out, and I don't really know how this will work. But they are gonna spend more money to like finish visual effects and that sort of stuff. So it is gonna be like a complete thing. But this is crazy. I never thought it would happen, and. That's another reason that I'm probably going to get HBO Max. I'm probably not going to get it when it comes out because none of the originals are really that exciting that are coming out right then on release. But probably in the future, I'm definitely going to get it to check this out along with some other DC content that's going on there. But yeah, uh, just crazy stuff. Um, comment down below what you think about them releasing the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. Uh, please like and subscribe and keep watching Neek.